In 1940, on this spot, built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, this memorial to Laura Spellman Rockefeller, on this day in 1940, sitting in this chair, Franklin Delano Roosevelt dedicated the new national park. These mountains speak best for themselves. Out of these mountains came a culture that not only shaped two great states, but really shaped this country. 6,000 parcels of property were taken to create this park. And most of those were taken from very poor, but very proud, independent, very intelligent people who were the forebears of many of us who are here today. We must honor their commitment to preserving this land so that the future generations may appreciate its splendor for many, many years to come. People come here because of the great beauties that we have, but they stay here because of the people. So it's very, very fitting that one of God's most beautiful worldly creations is a tribute to the great people of this region of North Carolina and Tennessee, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. A permanent home for the enjoyment of the people. And that's who we are as we come here. We're not anybody special. We are simply people that love these hills and love this great Smoky Mountain. We feel like we own it because our families once did. We love it because we grew up hiking here or we adopted it as our home. And we're proud we gave this park to our country so that everybody can enjoy it. As we celebrate a milestone in our park's history, may today also remind us of the generous spirit and faith in the future that gave it birth. And may we be moved to recommit ourselves to that spirit and that faith in all we do as a nation. Partner organization, past and present, here and at parks across America, have assured the stewardship of the Smokies and provided for protection, preservation, and visitor education within our national parks across this nation. The National Park Service is grateful to all of you. And as we look at the people who are here, who were the founders of this place, who were born in this place, who were part of the CCC, we know that we stand on the shoulders of giants and that we in America can and will do anything to make sure that we continue to be the greatest nation on earth. Let me assure you as you stand on this ground that uh, so many worked to preserve years ago, make no mistake, you're as close to heaven here as you'll ever get while you're on earth. I know in my own life, growing up over in one of these hollers, in a family of 12 children, I know that it was these mountains that inspired us, put food on our table, gave us everything that we had actually back then and gave us wonderful, wonderful ideas for songs and stories. These are my